It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Not everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just don't let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just are, we will never lie. Stand tall, we will never die. We'll forever shine. I just star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. I was uh, part of the members. We all dressed in white because I get to understand that we all should wear white and it is communion service and baptism service. So we all dressed in white and we went here and when we were here, we get on like update from the adjutant or the minister them and so what to do and so forth. So when we went, when we were here, he would say to us, um, he's soon be here, so we should line up face to face, like you face me, he face you, and we should spread on the toil along the walkway. We thought he was going to walk on them to go. And they were saying that they should say some verbal because, you know, they speak soft, everybody you know, hear what they were saying, and so forth. So they were there lining up until he came up. And then he came up, I saw another vehicle came in behind his vehicle, a diplomat, not diplomat. I knew I saw a police lady and someone just in like brown uniform, uniform like an inspector or something like that. And some other people came out of that vehicle and another car were there. I thought those people are from St. Ketchum, Spanish or something like that. The secretary came out and said everyone should have $1,444.04 into the envelope. So he said, oh, 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 um, you know, everybody running around getting silver to get the food amount that he said to put in it. Definitely, I didn't have any money. I only borrowed a $1,000 from my family to go here this Saturday morning. So I end up borrowing a $1,000 from a church sister. And I get 500 from one, and I get another five from one. So I end up with $1,445 in my hand. So we were uh, neighbor calls for us to line up to go in around the other side. And everybody lined up. And we were there in the line for about maybe two, three hours. The rain came down, sun, everything. And you know, we were without shoes and all those stuff. And you know, people were cramping here, foot were cramping and all those things. Because you know, some people don't use bare foot. Half an hour after, I saw um, the policeman went in, the one in the car, he was also bare foot went in. Came out, I saw the lady in the blue went in. What time was that? Maybe about four, 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 and I saw um, the other man, I don't know if that one from the country, country. they came out of the road and they hang on their head and walk past us in line. And he said, Well, they look so sad and they were happy, so they were the here. And somebody said, um, His excellence run them out. So we say, hmm, strange. Anyway, we're there waiting for our need to call or whatever to go inside. Everybody was just waiting patiently. We didn't rush, we didn't quarry, we just waiting patiently. We were on fasting. Everybody told that everybody should not eat. We should be on fasting. So everybody was on fasting. So eventually, at about maybe 5 30, 6 o'clock, he would call in, most of the men first went in, and then after that, before we went in, we have to wash our foot, before we went in, and then when we went in, he would told us, put the offering in the basket, and uh, 
ਤੇ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਨੇ ਬਾਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਇਹ ਉਹ ਸੁਪਿਆ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਸੇ ਵੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਕਾਰ ਲੀ ਤੋ ਪੁੱਤ ਆਨ ਦੀ ਆਰਥ ਆਸ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਆਈ ਫਿਲ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਕੇਅਰ ਦੇਮ ਸੋ ਮੇ ਆਫਟਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਚਰਚ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਨੀ ਵਰ ਰੀਲੀ ਗਿਵ ਇਨ ਆਫਟਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਾਰ ਮੀ ਲਾਰ ਸੋ ਆਨ ਦੀ ਸੇਰੀ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਂਜ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਵੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਇਸ ਰਾ ਸ਼ੂ ਪੁੱਟ ਮਾਈ ਆਰਥ ਇਨ ਦ ਬਾਸਕਟ ਆਨ ਸੋ ਮੇ ਦਾ ਆਨ ਦੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਕਲੋਸ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਰੋਕ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੀਟ ਆਟ ਰੋਕ ਮੀ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਦੀ ਆਰ ਦੀ ਆਫਰਿੰ ਦੀ ਐਨਵਲੋਪ ਆਨ ਦੀ ਕਾਰ ਮੀ ਫੇਲ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਬਾਸਕਟ ਆ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ ਆ ਟੈਂਪ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਆਊਟ ਦੀ ਕਾਰ ਮੀ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਸਮ ਪੁਸ਼ ਮੈਸ ਇਨ ਮੀ ਬਿਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਹਰਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੀ ਸੇਡ ਹਮ ਐਂਡ ਮੀ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਹੀ ਸੇਡ ਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਮੀ ਪਲੈਨ ਟੂ ਸਵੀਅਰ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਸਰਟਨ ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ choose the angel in category and you place us so here to there here to go and that's why the position was really empty when we were leaving he said to us all of the get up turn your back walk or don't look at me don't let your wing or your sheet touch the ground because it is going to dirty up and you need not to touch the ground and you take our time we will walk patiently out and we all came out and we tried to find our way to our home so everybody was like leaving in different directions so we didn't get to see each other or talk to each other because I went home about 2 to 11 that night so what was so strange about that Saturday that, that sort of make you get a little suspicious well, listen to what you have just described yes. wow. What was so strange? What was strange is the offering. We take the part in that we have to distribute. The girl that came out to me said that he said he did she got um you know call him a command to give it to us. So we have to take it. So we did send go to see if we could get by some power said for the person went for the place she didn't get it and she went other places and she buy like 20 pounds to share to for everybody. He told us I think it was that on the Wednesday or the Friday or a week that we were going to have a flood, tsunami. Okay. And it's going to start it from Trelawney down to Pier 1. And as the Bible said, if you are in the field or in the house, you're not to run back to take clothes or anything. And the scripture will teach us then we should run to the mountain for rescue. Each prophecy that you prophesy, we will see it fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you, you know we were believing them say he was a prophet and we were going along with it right so when he said um it's gonna be a star a flood and we must buy up food stuff and all you know the things are gonna happen you're not gonna get any food places gonna sell out and we must buy food so stuff up the house and all those stuff he, he, he always told us that that things coming things coming and you know If he told us, like, say, before the um, COVID, he would tell us that he saw the, a white tent pitch, the arm, the sword, the police, and all that stuff. And after a while, everything just happened. So, you know, you would always believe them. Say, whenever time he prophesied or tell us something, it come to pass. So we keep along believing that it's a true thing, because whatever he said, it always happened. So we keep on believing in him that he is a prophet then and you know, we don't want to disbelieve anything that he prophesied and you know, all those stuff. So we believe, you know, when, when she called me and said, he said we should drop everything and come, he said, hmm, how come Monday, so how oh, come it changes so quick? So we said, you know what, you know? Anyway, she said, she's at Antrol, we said, well, if you can ask the driver, if you can drive and come and pick me up, maybe we can do what I do. I never knew that they were saying to come in the ark. So when I went to the church that evening about six o'clock, I saw not a member outside the church, door the church, gate house on the road. They were all barefooted and stuff like that. And then he started calling names. And those people, when he called in him, there was a guy at the gate. He would open the gate and let them in. And Like somebody identify you say who is that not yet someone who identify himself and uh, would say you're not on the list huh? those things until 
that lady that went in that they said her throat was slashed. Her name were Carl and she was going inside. She make an attempt about two times to go inside at three times and they said you cannot come in if you come in without your stuff. You're not gonna come out back. But we didn't know that you have to bring like your thin suitcase with your clothes and all those stuff. We didn't know. I didn't know. How we went there with just I went there with only a rug and my Bible and my thing. I'm going to church. It's church I'm going. So when I went there and saw the people go outside, when they some of them came call and they were going in, they had suitcase, hands and clothes and we were saying, How oh, is this possible? And we never have no knowledge of this. What's going on? I saw things throwing out from out the church over the balcony. I said, What's going on? And then, I mean, you know, things were not looking at the time like, Oh, I expect to go and see. I expect to go and see his excellency into a room or something. He wasn't in a room. And because of the confusion of the people, everybody were trying to wrap. Everybody were trying to talk how they don't have any things to take in and then get to understand they cannot come out if they go inside. I heard when somebody is like he would say, kill it, kill it. But I don't know what he was saying, killing it. I don't know what, but I know I saw a cow. The real and prance, we didn't tell them back. So two men who said, we can't run fast. We do stand in here to be small. Here. So we Step sideways that if it be, if a stampede me can't get that a stampede, me want to protect myself. Everybody started to run. We don't know if it's the big gate that how was gonna run through or what. So we took away and it's there and then now I saw police driver. One passed first to go, then another one came, stopped in the middle of the road below the gate, and then I saw it, all the police take cover and pointing the gun up there. And then I saw soldier and said, no, what's going on? Something not right, your man. So you never get inside? No, we didn't go inside. A lot of us outside. A lot of us outside. So we were there and we were praying, praying, because, you know, we still never understand what was going on that time. We have no idea what was taking place earlier on. We are all there innocent. Never understand what's going on up until now. Mm -hmm. And we were there until the soldier came, then more soldier came, then more police came, and they were talking to each other, signaling each other, and said they must take cover because he was giving uh, like direction or signal what to do or whatever. And one of the time I heard he was praying and asking, like God should send fire and you begin police force who squats like came down upon the Israel, the true is Hebrew Israelite, something like that. And I heard one of the police say the man saying fire upon them. And they were shooting up there, shooting up there. And the, you know, I was just looking up there to see if they were gonna kill because a lot of people were kneeling down on the veranda with him up there. They were kneeling down praying. So we were there praying down there and said, Oh God, none of them did anything. But when I hear the gunshots and I remember I still looking at him and I saw he do you know, no shot reach him. Or anything, I said, mm -mm, this not look right. If this man look like a real prophet, picture, that in my mind at the time, you know, because you know, when you're shooting at somebody and you see a shot, you can't catch them to the amount of shot, they say, go up here. And they say, What's going on? And we were there praying, praying until the soldier said, Um, who's those people over there in white? Let them move from there, let them move from there. And we were there pure, praying, praying until. I heard a soldier, so came up on here, running up on here, crossing a lot of bad road and said, Oh, one man, I'm afraid that he may pass it, he will kill you, what's it, man, what's it, man? You know, me, I said, Lord Jesus, how are they going here tonight? But, you know, we were just looking up the church to see what was going on, and then a lot of police, they saw around the whole place, every angry police. Yes. After the police, them say, Ah, boom, you have no tear gas, man, and the, the soldier. And they go for the tear gas and the, you know I was standing at one corner, I could look up at the veranda where he was sitting and I remember one time I saw he, a tall broad shoulder man like it was green like bush jack. And you know, he was shaking up himself as if like, you know, he was, you know, saying that, you know, like somebody would say I'm okay or what about him and I was keeping my eyes closed to see what was going on. And then I remember again, I saw 
he was sitting in the chair and he was circling his neck, circling his neck and I heard him say, get me out of this body, get me out of this body. And then after the police had this way that him started to throw the tear gas and I had those stuff over there. I don't see anybody else in the chair. And then they take us from there and take us down to the other end where the other reserve people and the soldier and police was. And that's where it is until they called for the truck. And then when they tear off the ply that was at the gate and started to swarm the churchyard now. We were way down to the other end, so we did not know what was going on up there at the time until they take out the people that was inside and they came out and they all shaking, shaking. So, and you know, they were, you know, everybody was in shock and pain and grief and everything. And we said, Oh my God, what really were going on? And we even up until the time we didn't need to get the knowledge of what was taking place inside. If when we go by the station, in, we go down in the soldier truck, and when we went by the station, we gave a name to the soldier that when we came out of the truck, then we went into the line and we go inside the station, we gave a name again. I remember the inspector lady said to us, um, You people are so lucky. I'm not lucky, you know, God, God went the pound of sight to me. The police ain't never come to the whole land of it tonight. So even at the time when the inspector lady really said that to me, you know, me wonder why she said that. Because, you know, we still never know what was going on. Until we used the bathroom and we came back around and they said they're going to take us upstairs so that we can sit down. After a while, they would check who need help or whatever we need or so on. Calm it down and then. They came up and said to us, there's a lady who died with her chum slash and one, two dead or one dead. We said, Jesus, no. that's where we got a shock because we said, dead? Woman chum slash? We said, no, this is not real, something wrong. And they know who were inside. I mean, they started to tell us what was happening inside and all those stuff. That's how we have an idea of what was taking place. Mm -hmm. The outside <coughs> have no idea, no knowledge of what was taking place before we were there. We were like a lamb led to the slaughter. So you have mixed feelings now, as to Yes. Even though on one side you are thinking that 